Hello, good day all here is the news for you today. Why President Simon Ushomole to Abuja says Obaseki's aid. A special advisor to the Edo State Governor on Media and Communication Strategy, Kuse Osage, has said that the South National Chairman of World Progressive Congress, Adam Sosomole, was summoned by the presidency to explain his role in the series of violent attacks on the Edo State Governor, Odudon Paseki, and other members of the People's Democratic Party. However, Oshomole had, after his interaction with the Chief of Staff to the Presidency, Professor Abraham Gabari, said he was at the villa for consultation on the upcoming election. Osage, who spoke to journalists in Benin, Edo State Capital, said that attention has been drawn to the series of bare-faced lies told by the SAC National Chairman of All Progressive Congress, Adas Oshomole, on the channel's television news program on Monday, August 17, 2020. The former chairman, national chairman of APC, had a few days on Monday churning out lies. Contrary to Shomode's claim that he went to see President Buhari at the presidential villa in Abuja to brief him on the outcomes of the party's campaign in Edo, the former APC national chairman was actually summoned to the villa to explain his role in the series of violent attacks on the members of the People's Democratic Party PDP in the ongoing electionary campaign in those states in preparation for the September 19 gubernatorial election. Some of the attacks included the one on the convoy of Governor Gordon Obaseki when he paid a courtesy visit to the monarch. The attack of the governor's convoy in Akpana, Ushomole's ward, Isako West local government area, while the governor was going to the community to campaign to his supporters there. And of course, the alarm raised by the Deputy Governor of the state, retired Honorable Comrade Philip Shaibu, to assassin, that assassins were brought into Edo State by a Shomole from Kogi State to eliminate leaders of the PDP, including himself. The security report on air the presidency, and they decided to invite Shomole for a meeting to shed light on his roles in the sponsored attacks. Shomole told Nigerians on national television that the governor and his deputy took to the use of firearms to generate confusion when they didn't see any crowd in Opana, his own world. Whereas, uh, what actually transpired was that Oshomole sponsored talks, talks attacked Governor Gordon Obaseki's convoy on their way to Opana for a campaign rally. He took the intervention of security is attached to Governor and his deputy to ward of the attackers. Oshomole thinks Nigerians are pliable people who do not use their heads. Nigerians know that politicians do not use gunshots to invite people to political rallies. Instead, it was Oshomole's talks that attacked the governor and wanted to scare away people from the rally. For the records, Oshomole lied to Nigerians. Everything he said was a lie. The former APC national chairman also claimed that APC has massive supports in Edo State and urged that he is confident that the party will win the election in Edo State. As a matter of fact, Oshomole's recklessness has shot Edo people's interest in the APC and they have all moved to the PDP. The Edo State of today is the PDP state. The higher crowd that APC paraded joined the their district campaign does not reflect the party's popularity in that state. The most reliable way of measuring a candidate's popularity in an election like the one we are preparing for in a dual state is the number of supporters and candidates that has the world level. As we have seen in the world, world campaign by Governor Paseki of the PDP. Again, the Shomali lied that there is no modular refinery in Benin City. The truth is, a dual refinery is 80% ready for use and is located in Olubu along the Benisa Play Road axis of the state. The various memoranda of understanding which Opasaki led administration entered into have bettered other projects such as the 1500 EDPA Mistral Africa Housing Project in Upper Sakuba area of Edo State, the CCETC Oshibo Power Project that is awaiting commissioning by the relevant federal government agencies. Jara Mall, 
the retail outlet located at Second East Circular Road Junction. While work on Bini River Port and Bini Industrial Park project is ongoing. On the claim that Opaseki has not built schools, Osaiki urged journalists to check with the Universal Basic Education Commission in Abuja to establish the falsehood in Oshomole's broadcast. He said, for any government to assess UBEC forms, there are strict criteria you must follow. The federal government agency also carries out oversight on the use of the funds, so Nigerians must ignore Oshumoli, which is lies. At the last count, Obasaki government has rebuilt over 230 public schools. We have the Edo Basic Education Se Sector Transformation Program that has changed the face of the public education in the state. And this has attracted countries like Rwanda, Sierra Leone, Uganda, Tanzania, including Lagos State, that are now replicating the model in their educational system. The point must be made that Ochomole remains a suspended member of the APC, and the president could not have invited a suspended member of the APC to give him situation reports about the developments in the party when there are state, regional, national leaders of the party, including various security agencies, whose duty includes to brief the presidency on the security issues around the country regularly. So that's the news for you today. Uh, it's so shameful that Shumule can come on national television to be lying about the reasons why he went to see President Muhammad Buhari. So he was called to question him about the security problems in Nigeria in Edo State. And at the same time, the accusation uh, about him bringing in assassins to assassinate the PDP leaders and the deputy governor. So that's basically what this article is talking about. Kindly leave your thoughts, your comment in the comment box and share this article. Thanks for listening and do have a great day. Bye.